What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to another video. And a lot of people have been asking me for a Johan Cruyff training guide, right? So I am going to be doing one for Schneider, Davids, and Cruyff. We are starting with Cruyff. He's a very interesting player, man. And obviously, if you do pack him, you do want to make sure you train him pr uh, perfectly because he is going to have that 365-day contract uh, when you pack him, obviously, and how they're going to carry over from eFootball 23 to 24. I think that we will have more details on that quite soon. But yeah, if you are packing a player like this and you're spending coins, I genuinely do, do think you should, um, you should train him right and train him correctly as best as you possibly can. Now, we will start by looking, right? I've already reviewed these players. If you've missed out on that video, go back and pause this video and go back and check that out where it's kind of like a deep dive and an analysis of this card as just straight up. But obviously, when you are training players, right, there is no size all or one size fits all, right? Um, this is going to be something that you need to take three things into consideration. You need to take your tactics and formation, how you actually play. You're going to have to take your play style, like your actual play style, like how good you are on the pad. Do you play quick style? Do you do a lot of possession? Do you like dribblers? Um, you know, are you a good shooter? That will depend on how much points you need to put into each stat. And then thirdly, you need to pick what manager you're using. These ma these players do fit with any manager, but you need to pick a player that is going to suit a manager and a manager that suits a player in terms of out wide or quick counter. And that will dictate, dictate a lot of the stuff that you need to do. And also, well, this is number four, I suppose. This, you know, who's going to be around this player? If you are picking Cruyff and you want him to be you know, or a Mario-esque or Eto'o-esque striker that's going to be just literally all about speed and finishing like Mbappe, then who's going to be around him? Who's going to be feeding him the ball? Who's going to be defending behind him? Who's going to be on the wings, uh, you know, bringing him into the play? So we have, as ever, we have three versions of him. Looking at this card, man, I have said before, I don't think this looks like a 99 overall card. I know he trains up to that. He does have insane player skills, but what we're going to be focusing on today is three different versions of Cruyff, and I know a lot of you have been asking me about this, so I will try and keep it as short and sweet as possible, but as thorough as possible as well. So we're going to head over to eFootballDB.com and look at the player database here with the correct levels, all the stats, all the player skills, everything, and we can just take a look here, man, and look at a 94 rated version of Cruyff. Yes, he does go to 99. But I'm going to tell you why I think this 94 version of him could be good for you, especially if you're looking for a more traditional center forward slash kind of like deep line forward. This is really playing to type here, right? So you've got your shooting and passing, which are extremely high, gives you 90 ball control, 90 dribbling and 90 curl. But then you've also got 86 low pass, 87 tight possession and 88 finishing. So this is a very decent I would say like a faster version of the likes of Burkamp, Harry Kane, deep line forwards that are able to get up and down the pitch just slightly in the box area from like, you know, center forward to an attacking midfield area. You can see over here um, on this side here where the position guide, you can see that he's 94 rated as a CF, but as an SS, he's a 98 overall. And that's got to do with his low passing and dribbling that he is more of kind of like an attacking midfield based player, right? Couple that in with the one touch pass, weighted pass and low lofted pass. You don't need to go with the low pass or the lofted pass into the 90s. You just don't. So 11 into that and shooting is obviously going to get you the 90 curl and 88 finishing. And we're still not lacking that much on acceleration and speed. For an AMF, for an SS, for somebody that's going to be taking a lot of shots, that's not going to be dependent on blister and pace. If you play possession, if you play a very methodical game, if you like to pass the ball around, you don't rely on run and gun. You don't rely on meta play. You don't rely on a one man kind of, you know, playing the man instead of playing a team. Like you're playing the team here. So you're passing to whoever's in the best option. You're passing whoever has the space. You're not just passing to Mbappe or Cruyff or whoever it is up front as your, as your vocal point, right? Your focal point, I should say. So that is the one version of Cruyff I would say would suit somebody that likes to play a little slower, a little more methodical, um, and obviously wants him as a more central figure to bring others into the, into the game, right? Now, if you are going for your Romario, Mbappe, Eto, Torres-esque type player, then I think this one could be for you. Now, this is going to suit meta type players. It's going to suit, you know, um, players that maybe play three strikers up front. It's going to suit players that like to use quick counter and keep the ball moving as quick as possible. He already has, at default, he has one touch pass, man. So you don't need to focus too much on the passing. We've got 75 passing here. All we're going to be doing with Cruyff when we get it is, as I said there a second ago, 
you know, pretty much everything that we said a second ago reverse, right? So we're going to flip it. So instead of having him as the focal point to bring others into the play, we're going to use him as our one-man army, pass the ball to him, turn and run, and go for a goal, right? So think of Obafami Martins in uh, Pez 6, think of Mbappe, think of Van der Merch. all you Pez legacy fans will know what I'm talking about there. But yeah, he's going to be Mbappe, man, 2.0. That's what he's going to be, right? We're taking a slight hit on the finishing, but we've got 90 awareness, 90 ball control, and 90 dribbling, 94 balance, and 96 acceleration, 95 acceleration, which is huge. 85 finishing, lads, right? If you're playing quick counter, chances are you use a majority or, or a mixture of players up front, such as Mbappe, Romario, Messi. Obviously, they've got high finishing, but you're not dependent on somebody like Harry Kane with a 94 or 95 finishing stat to be able to score you goals, right? So I definitely think with Cruyff, you're maxing what makes him good. He goes to 100 overall here as an SS and on the wings if you want. Um, obviously, you can't really, like, they're not his primary position, but through the middle, he's a 98. He does take a hit at 96 on the AMF because of the low passing, right? So that would be for quick touch passing, one touch passing, and a lot of quick counter stuff. And then for those of you that are kind of somewhere in between, that likes to mix it up, probably like myself, I play a lot of possession, but I do mix it up every now and again if I'm chasing a goal. I like to have him with at least 90 acceleration. But the biggest thing for me when I'm looking at a center forward or an AMF or an SS, right, is I want a balanced stat sheet for pretty much every stat, right? So because I have the likes of Romario, I have Mbappe, I have Haaland to come on, I know what I'm getting out of those. So I would like Cruyff to be, a, I would probably play him as an SS AMF, kind of in the messy role that I'm playing now at the moment. So if you're kind of looking at somebody that's overall a well-rounded player that can be just played in any position through the middle, CF, AMF, SS, and just absolutely dominate, never be, you know, lacking in anything. You've got 89 ball control and dribbling. You've got 85 finishing, 83 low pass, 85 lofted, 87 curl. Uh, 89 balance, 80 stamina, 86 speed, and 90 acceleration. This is a monster center forward slash SS hybrid that you are not going to be able to replicate pretty much with any other standard player in the game because of the pace. Usually with the players like Burkamp and players that are deep lined that have that passing stat fairly high with the dribbling and the touch and the tight possession, you do lack in the acceleration. But Cruyff doesn't have that issue because he's super quick, super mobile. He's super fast. He's a lovely height and weight. So those motions will kind of kick in. The animations will be able to kickstart off like Mbappe style. And then the player skills come into the fore. So just quickly, this is more for an upfront center forward, you know, like well-rounded player that's, you know, slower base players, uh, maybe a bit of possession and target man type play. This is for a quick counter. And then this is a kind of a balanced mix between the two. So I hope this video helps you guys. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe if you are enjoying this type of content. I will be back quite soon. Peace.